hi friends welcome back to api tutorial with laravel 8 so in our last video we got some idea about how to create api and how to use and we have already discussed about the get api post api and put api in our previous video so today we will going to learn about laravel delete api so basically delete api is used to delete any data from the database okay so here is my laravel 8 application and i have already set up the environment that is my database name is laravel api tutorial so this is the laravel api tutorial and i have already created a block controller and a block model and also a block table so if you go to the block table we can see the blog so we will delete a blog to api delete request okay so how we can do this so here is my postman so i am creating a request that is the delete request so we will use delete and we will create a link that is 127.0.0.1 and after that colon 800 api so basically we will use the api for any api operation we will use the api.php route so we will write api here okay so here i will delete the blog so just create a url suppose delete blog okay and we need to create a route for delete blog url so just go to the project directory and here is my api route so create one route that is route delete okay so basically this is the route delete block and we need to call the controller so i will use the block controller colon colon class and to delete we will create a method that is delete block okay so we need to create a delete block methods inside the block controller so just go to the block controller i will create a method that is public function delete block okay so here you can see the blocks table and there are five records and we will pass the id here suppose i want to delete the block number 13 so how we can delete this basically we will pass 13 here to delete the three we will pass the three here okay so I will pass some parameters and based on that parameter we will delete okay so we need to accept this parameter from the routes also so go to routes and pass the parameter so suppose I am passing the ID so we need to pass this ID into the controller also so just write the ID and for block tables we have the block models so when we use any database operation into the block table we will always call the block model so we have got the id what need to delete so we just call that is block and click the find so i will find the id which i have passed from the postman and i am taking this into the blog variable so basically using this we will delete this so just write the blog and use the delete method okay so basically it will find the exact block which i want to delete and for this method and using the delete method will delete okay so these things i will also storing into a variable that is result variable so using this variable we will check whatever the blog is successfully deleted or not so we'll check if the result is true it will return that is blog deleted successfully so pass the json array here i will write the result and we'll add blog deleted and if not delete we will add the else condition so blog not deleted okay so that's all so now go to the postman suppose i want to delete a blog which id is 12 so go to the postman so here the pass the parameter that is 12 so click on send button 
we can see the blog deleted so if you go to the database again and click on browse we can see the blog deleted so in this way if we pass the 13 here we can see again the blog deleted and the same so blog is deleted from the database okay so delete api is one of the simplest api so this is all about delete api request please comment if you have any queries about this video next day i will going to show about uh, how to search a result through the api call so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye